Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making the Felt Angels from Corinne Lapierre's Scandinavian Angel Kit. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you give me a like or tell me what you enjoyed in the comments. It really helps me out when you do this because it helps other people to see my content. So without further ado, let's get started. I've already done an unboxing of a Corinne Lapierre kit before, so if you want to see what's inside a typical kit, check out the link below. I've cut everything out and that is the felt which I have left. You want to take the face and one piece of the halo and then just lie them on top of each other so that they're touching on one edge and then you're going to attach them by embroidering the mouth through both pieces. So I've already threaded my needle with a piece of the floss and what we do is pop our needle up through both pieces don't pull it all the way through if you want to hold on to the tail that's fine and then pop our needle back down and then to secure the first stitch I'm going to pop my needle back in the same place I originally came out but I don't want to pull this all the way so I'm going to leave a bit of a loop and then we're going to go back down through the same place as well Now where we've left the loop, we're going to pass our needle through once, twice, three times in the same direction and then I'm just going to pull the whole thing tight and you can see that has closed the loop on the back. We're going to do back stitch, put your needle in. and then come out in front and then you're going to take your needle and put it in where you came back through on the previous stitch and then you're going to put your needle in front of where you came out in the previous stitch. Pull all the way through and then take your needle back and bring it out in front of your thread. And then when your mouth is as big as you want it to be, you're just going to secure your thread in the same way as when we began. And then we're going to add the eyes in the same way. It's time to add the hair. So I've secured my thread in the same way as when we started the mouth. And this time we're going to do overhand stitches. So to do that, we need to put the needle through the back of the halo and the hair. And then to make our stitches as small and invisible as possible and then put the needle back through just the face but direct it so that the needle's pointing underneath the hair you can't see the stitches that I've just made. Now all of the faces are embroidered. The next step is to decorate the dresses. On this dress I've been doing what they're calling the daisy stitch. So I'll show you how to do that. First thing I did was secure the red circle to the dress in the usual way and then place my white circle roughly in the centre of the red one 
then push my needle up through the centre of both circles, create a loop with my thread and then I'm going to push my needle down through the centre and out through the edge and I'm going to make sure that the needle passes over the loop of thread that we left behind. When you pull that tight you'll get the petal shape. So to secure that we then just pop the needle back down through the edge of both circles as close to the petal as we can. On this dress I've been doing what they call star stitch so I'll show you how to do that on the final circle so I've already secured the white one on as we've done before so I'm going to take my blue circle put it in the middle just like I did with the other dress and then with my thread I'm going to come up through the centre both circles and then back down at the edge of the blue one just through the white and then up through the centre So I've decorated this dress with more daisy stitches but now I'm just adding some French knots in between my circles so I'll show you how to do that now. So we poke the needle from the back to the front holding the thread tightly, put your needle on top, wind the thread once, wind the thread twice and then put your needle back into the hole you came out of and pull your thread and you're left with a French knot. Now we've decorated all of the wing pieces we have to sew the front and the back of those together with blanket stitch and we also have to sew the front and the back of the feet together with blanket stitch. So I'll move those bits out of the way and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm holding both bits together, put my needle from the front to the back, and pull it until just a small loop of thread remains. And then take your needle underneath that loop of thread and pull the stitch tight. Now we're going to attach the wings to the back piece of the dress, so that's the one that you haven't decorated. So I've secured the thread in the usual way and I'm going to do a back stitch. So you can see my threads come out here, so I'm going to put my needle in behind where the thread has come out. going to bring the needle out in front of where that thread has come. And to do the next stitch we'll do the same thing, so go in behind and come out in front. Once you've got the wings on you're ready to sew the front and the back of the dress together. So. I've been using overhand stitches and then when I've come to where I want to put in a hand or a foot I've been using a running stitch. So to do that overhand stitches you always just go in at the front and out at the back and then you go back in the same direction. So now I'm at the point where I want to put in the hand in. Just open up the two sides. 
can sort of sandwich the hand in there. And then to do the running stitch, you go in one side and out the other, and then back through in the opposite direction, making sure that you catch all three layers. And then when you reach the end of your hand or your foot, just turn back to your overhand stitches. And now I've only got a little bit of an opening. I'm just going to put some of the toy stuffing in there and then I'll finish off just by doing some more overhand stitches. So we're almost finished. All we have to do is attach the front and the back of the head to the body. So I'm going to put that to one side for a minute. And the instructions tell us that we will attach our hanging loop first of all the back part of the halo so that's the bit without the face on so that's not going anywhere now so then you take the front piece of the halo and we start to go all the way around with an overhand stitch or a blanket stitch it's up to you and when you get to the hair just fold it out of the way and carry on stitching. So I've reached this point here on my circle where my thread's coming out. I'm just going to open the front and the back parts of the halo inside the body inside so you can't see the top of the neck and then using a running stitch like I did with the feet and the hands just going to carry on stitching until I get to the other side. You don't want to go through the face. So I'm just going to hold her face out of the way while I stitch. And now the head and the body are attached. You can just pop a little bit of toy stuffing inside the head, not too much. And then carry on with an overhand stitch and to finish off. I'm just going to pop my needle inside the head between the front and the back of the halo out through the bottom pull tightly snip and my thread disappears inside thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that video remember to subscribe to our channel and follow us on our social media and i'll put the links below uh, if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful or in you've learned something and you want to say thanks you can buy me a coffee and I'll put the link to that below but otherwise I will see you again next time bye bye